Alright, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Tenderfoot Tactics as part of the Super Indie Game Lightning Round, the Steam uh, Summer Indie Game Festival, and also because the developers asked nicely. Uh, so this is a, it's a tactical game. It's got kind of like a weird 3D pixel style going for it, which is kind of neat. And that's pretty much all I know about this game. I just knew it looked really cool when I saw the, like, the screenshots of it a while back. Oh. Maybe the resolution will look better. Quality crunchy, creamy, crunchy, ooh, creamy? Oh, that softens it up. Okay. So crunchy gets, gives it the pixel style. Creamy gives it a smooth, like a low poly style. I like that. Let's give this a go. Look how blue the sky is. I bet you can see the old towers on the mainland. You missed Ash standing around while I wrecked him. Oh, big goblin here, everyone. Cancel the tournament. Yana's won a race. We're basking in the presence of true greatness. I'm kind of lost, but okay. Huh? Oh. Yeah, you can almost see the other side of the archipelago. We signed up. How many more teams between us at the top? We're at the bottom of the tournament ladder, so we could fight everyone. Everyone. Okay. Well, I say we get some practice immediately. When we practice for the tournament, we need to pick up a couple substitutes. We'll be disqualified next week if we only show up with the four of us. There are a few goblins lingering around the sign-up line. I'm sure they're looking to join teams as alternatives. New quest! Gather your party! Sup? Hi? You. On to the past. Glory today. Wants to join your party. Alright, cool. You look like... This looks... May the spirits... Sure. This looks very much in progress. Anyone betting on us? Hey, what'd you just ask? If you're trying to place a bet, you can go pound sand. No fighters. Cool with blue. Onyx is only curious about the odds. Your odds are junk, by the way. There are a few bets on your team, but those goblins probably have more treasure than sense. How rude. Make an impression isn't a bad thing, Yana. Alright, uh, let's see. This guy? I guess I can recruit this guy. Rely on me. Together we all know the pa past. Not enough room in the party. Well, I guess we're good enough. Alright, onwards. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Can I jump? I can jump. Alright. Rest up in the Burrows Festival next week. Impulses. I'd like to see if Finbar has any advice for us. We have time. This is an important festival for us and we want to make the most of it. Interesting. So we've got Peanut, Ash, Onyx, and Yana. And then we actually have an Archer and a Knight. Who seem a little bit better than my own dudes. Alright, whatever. Let's talk to these people and figure things out. Finbar, you gambling this year. Is it on us? Peanut makes a ravenous opponent. I'm betting they'll lead you to victory. This will be our squad's first festival. I'm sure we we will fall short of victory in the festival and many festivals to come. Hopefully the experience will shape me into a well-renowned teacher like you. It's our first festival, but that means no one knows how to handle us. May the spirits favor your blades. Uh, did that count? Practice with some of the pups, pups brawling outside of town. Oh, hey. Alright. There's some weird pop-in going on. Or is that water? I don't know. It's kind of funky doodle. This is very much still in development. I like the art style, but I'm lost already. Hey, Meryl, you want to practice some? No, if anyone else wants to? One second, let me check. Hey, any of you losers want to brawl? Begin encounter? Begin. All right. Hi. Got it. So it looks like the world has morphed into kind of a weird grid. Let's get going? Uh, now here's the question. Uh, can I... Move to the bush. That way they're not stuck behind that thing. Alright, let's begin. This game needs shading. Woof, that's loud. Needs shading or stronger shading. I could get behind that. Alright. We got move, we got wait, we've got first aid. This is... who? you? Wait. Okay. I got Yana. Attack range 3. Deals 36 damage. So if we move, if we move Yana... How do we attack?
Is that not range three? Oh, here we go. Attack or first aid. Got it. All right. So we get three actions and we get to choose our rotation. So it's kind of Final Fantasy Tactics style. I dig it. All right, so I got Zoya, Archer, Fire Arrow, range 3 to 5, 35 damage, roast area, igniting dry plants. And a grenade, 25 damage, lowers earth, shape cross, breaks, breaks destructible objects. Okay, let's move here. Oh. Blast that. I was hoping to set stuff on fire, but I guess it is what it is. Okay, who do we who do we have? Delphine. Shield bash. And protective. A adjacent allies take less damage. Unfortunately, Delphine is kind of slow. I guess I'll just hit that, but it is not destructible. Let's go here. Let's see if we have a decent shot at somebody. We also have a second grenade. Oh, that works. Sound effects are a little random, unfortunately. Yeah, why are they hit so loud? Because I don't think uh, they're attached to the sound slider. Ow. I don't know if I'm going to win this one. I'll turn it down a little bit further. I like the music, but I don't think uh, it's worth listening to if we're going to be hearing, like, BAM! constantly. This is at 5%, mind you. Alright, Yana is hurting. This is one of my own. One immediate thing I'm running into is I'm having trouble figuring out who my teammates are and who my... Uh, let's see. Who my teammates are and who my enemies are. Move them to the bush. Okay. Who's this? This is you. Unfortunately, a lot of these guys seem to be way beefier than I am. Which is causing some problems. I like the idea of the ter terrain deformation. It reminds me of, uh... What's it called? Future Tactics? I think it was called Future Tactics back in the day. Ow. Oh, they're dead. Let's see, this is Peanut. Oh, I didn't realize Peanut's actually a, a melee character. Okay, Delphine. Yeah, bad placement on Delphine. But that's okay. Bam. What the? Sudden bush. Okay. I might have another grenade or... No, this is Yana. Okay, let's cancel this one. Move here. Probably go for the first aid. Keep my guys up. Okay. Peanut has peanut does have a grenade gonna do way more damage yep i'm gonna just mess him up wait that direction and delphine again i was worried for like two seconds because they took out my archer early but then we're good uh, let's see move hello oh we uh we got exp for that Oh, there we go. I leave. Uh, let's see. Train. Oh, hi. So this goblin has been calcified by spirit and cannot unlearn skills. Interesting. So maybe calcified puts it in a specific class 
Must be. So Peanut's got Grenade. What else do we have? First Aid, Song, Strangle, Double Damage from Behind, Opportunist when an enemy moves out of an adjacent tile, gets a free attack, or Protective. Interesting. Equip. Don't have too much. Well, anything else I can do? No. So, go back to the, uh... Oh, well, he had something to say. And then he didn't anymore. Because, yeah, it doesn't look like I can interact with these guys again. I wonder what would happen if I just, like, bailed out. But, yeah, I like the idea of this art style, but it makes it hard to read as opposed to... Like, it's, like, it's interesting and unique... But it's still hard to read. Don't go emptying the whole horde now. We got a festival on. Oh, horde keeper. Okay. I see. And a lot of this stuff is just... Loot. So we can spend reputation to get ourselves a boost. Okay. I'm assuming as such. Equip. Silver Pendant. So... Switch out the Tansy. I got it. So the Tansy just gives some extra damage. Okay. Red Ribbon. Who else was the other... Who was the other character I was using? I don't know. One way or another, we should actually probably boost... Zoya. Because Zoya is extremely killable. Okay. That's better. He's tanky. Everybody is good. Uh, let's see. So that was the shop. Where's the bur burrows? I don't know, but I'm assuming we go to that thing. Or not. Oh, I'm suddenly this guy now. Alright, whatever. Come for a dunk, a swim. Can't get enough of this stuff myself. Hope you brought your own materials. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. I just dyed him green. Alright, cool. Now what do I do? Where are the burrows? Rest up in the burrows. Oh. Burrows are all the way over here. Well, off we go. It's a funky game. I can see this being real fun. But... I feel like I've just been kind of thrown into things and I'm lost. But maybe that's okay. Let's let's take a look at this uh this what the devil snaps the hell are you? What? Why do we have just a giant dude? Perfect timing. Your team is next. I'm going to need you to lose big after climbing a few rungs, so don't get stuck at the bottom. You bet against us. It's... he's just chillin'. Alright, cool. Uh, let's see. Archer's there. I'm not entirely sure about the water. I'm just gonna move all my guys to this side. We're just gonna bum rush that side and see what... see what damage we can do. Because currently they're stuck. Whoa, they're f a little faster than I was expecting they would be able... They would be? Okay, this is Peanut. Peanut is as the grenade and an attack. Okay. Delphine's slow. 
Well, first blood. Yeah, that extra equipment is gonna help. I will keep my guys hale and hearty. Let's see, move here for the fire out, move here. Let's get that guy, set him on fire, maybe? Why are the bushes just spawning randomly? I have no idea. Ow, but less ow. All right, is this, this is Peanut. Well, Peanut's take some hurt, taking some hurt. Let's move, do we move to the side? Let's move here. Wall up that guy. Maybe I should have actually thrown the grenade. Oh well. Move here. Heal Peanut. Peanut unfortunately is not nearly as much of a tank as this guy is. But that's okay. Bammo. Yeah, it could be the local god. Yeah, I can see that. Ow. You fool. All right, fire arrow, hit that guy? Oh. We actually have a minimum range. Okay, so where can I move? I can move here. We should probably focus on wrecking this guy. Because he's a little big and has some kind of boost. Okay. Let's just wait there. Bash him back. And we're good. Oh. Wow. Okay. They've got a little bit more range than I thought they did. I was really hoping setting that bush on fire. Or maybe the bush is dry now? May maybe. This game is weird. Alright. Uh, well, we can either get a onion or a glass shit, or we get both. Well, they're both good. Okay, let's equip. Let's grab glass shit. Give it there. So, now Zoya is considerably stronger. And let's grab... time give it to peanut I think it is Yana yeah it's Yana that we've been using I think we'll just keep using Yana as kind of like a de facto healer all right so what's what's our next do we go here we go here great job on the first fight don't stop there though may the spirits bless your blades and my bet oh wait in that case, if I can just freely wander around, let's go talk to Jumbus. Ruta Baga. Ah, I knew I could send something in you, but you've far to go yet. Thank you, Ruta Baga. Well, got anything else? No stuff gets hard. We could probably toughen up with these pups brawling outside of town again. Hey! Mid tournament grinding! That sounds like a choice idea, especially as I'm getting better at this. I un I understand how it works. The combat is tactics. It's pretty tactics. There's something satisfying about playing these kinds of games. I think, ooh, boats. Uh, I think a lot of it boils down to, I'm a big fan of anything Final Fantasy tactics related, even if I'm not entirely sure if I'd be able to put in a whole lot of time. Okay. Is this me? Okay, hopefully I can hop down that cliff. We'll see. Oh, there's five of them. That's unfair. Let's see. Why did you ever play Tactics Ogre? I actually never did. Uh, Tactics Over Ogre was one of those series that, like, I knew about, but I never got into. 
I think because it was already like past my time. Let's see. Who do we attack? Well, I guess we gotta hit, hit him. What I'm thinking is, this guy, I think, has a grenade. I'm gonna hit my own dude, though. Let's not do that. Let's fire that one instead. Ooh. That should be good. They're already, they're already feeling the hurt and they've barely even touched me. And just spreading that damage around. Okay, so it's Peanut. Uh, let's go here. Start wailing on these guys with grenades. Is this him? Move here. A little bit of bonus damage to the warrior. Yeah, there you go. Right, let's grab that EXP. Just gonna keep using and abusing grenades for the time being. Spread that love. Yeah, there, there you go. I think they left some EXP. That is a very Final Fantasy Tactics. Like the OG one, where it leaves the items behind. That's Peanut might go down? Yep. There he goes. It's fine. Okay. She'll bash that guy. Kills him. I'm not actually... Okay. These two are my enemies. Go back here. Fire arrow. There they go. Oh, and since we've got a short bow, we don't have to shoot as far. Alright, so we get a level up, and we're good. Because I don't think there's anything else for me to do. Uh, let's see, so train. Delphine has a skill point? Yes. Oh! One unspent skill point, which gives extra 10 health. So we can also get insult, sweeping blow, flex, flies prideful for 300 ticks, max health, or headstrong, gives a nerve. Or incre increase the knockback. I'm gonna go for flex, because that comes with a cool passive. And Yana, better first aid? Stamping. Could go for the grenade. Song, strangle, opportunist or protective. Now let's go for the better first aid for the time being. Alright, let's go do one more fight. Oh, can we keep doing this? Eh, sure. Why not? I could keep progressing the tournament, but I just don't really have the time. Uh, and that's fine. Get peanut up in here. Alright. So, game is neat. It definitely evokes feelings of Tactics Ogre and a couple other similar types of games. I think um, the one problem is the unique art style. Well, it is probably one of this game's greater strengths, uh, it is also probably one of this game's greater weaknesses, uh, where it is real neat to look at. But it's also... Uh, a little rough visually. Like, it's neat to look at and it will stand out amongst the crowd. Um, but I'm not immediately drawn to it in the same way that I was with Final Fantasy Tactics or I guess most recently Fate, Fate Tactics. Oh. Oh, we're, we're stuck, stuck in the sticks. 
You'll sell for reasons? Do you get EXP for that? No, you don't. Well, hopefully my archer will be able to withstand for at least a little while. Yeah. Tactics Ogre, let us cling together. Final Fantasy Tactics, War of the Lions, and Vagrant Story. Three games sound right up my alley, but I don't want to bust up the Vita. Vita, maybe one day we can see remasters for the Switch. Yeah, that'd be that'd be lovely. No! Well. Okay, he also has first aid. At least I got heals. I did not mean to use grenade. At least in that manner. But yeah, I, I would certainly enjoy... Okay, do a bunch of damage. Let's hit that guy. Move back here. Who's my next? I would definitely enjoy... Like, a Final Fantasy Tactics Super Collection would actually be super rad. Effectively, it would be Final Fantasy Tactics 1, Advance, and Advance R2. Like, I, I would... I'd buy that in a heartbeat if it was like a super combined version. I don't know what Flex does, so we're gonna just kill this guy instead. Hey, thank you, Roland Gris Griswold, for the seven month resub. What are you doing tonight? Uh, let's see. Let's just force that way. I thought we were in trouble when I grenaded myself, but it looks like I'm fine. Let's see. Let's just kill this guy. We're barely taking damage at this point. Issue is that Final Fantasy Tactics Original isn't connected connected to Advancer A2 in the slightest. True, but like, who cares? Then again, I would enjoy seeing... I'm not going to say a remaster of Tactics, but like, I would like to see a new one. I guess there are certain games that deserve to be remade. And there are certain games I keep right-clicking to cancel, and it's not working. And that is throwing me off real hard. Um, uh, let's see. But yeah, there are certain games that deserve to be remade. And there are certain games that absolutely... Let's flex. I have no idea what... Okay, Prideful is just bonus health. Got it. Um, but, like, I feel like the Final Fantasy Tactics games, all you'd need to do is just port them, uh, to fit a better resolution and game format, and then you're all good. So can I just, like, oh, hey, I can click to move. So, yeah, if I wanted to, I could just grind there indefinitely, if I really wanted to. Um, yeah, Final Fantasy Tactics 12 and 14 are all in the same dimension, and they're even in the same world. At least vaguely so. Wildly different time periods from what I know. Uh... But I, I would love to see them maybe port the old games and make a new Final Fantasy Tactics. It's about time, and I bet they do an amazing job with it. After uh, World of Final Fantasy, like, it's weird. I liked Final Fantasy VII's remake, but I really want Square Enix to keep making more interesting, um... More interesting, like, Final Fantasy side games? Because the side games are almost more interesting. Anywho. I'm going to run in a direction. We're just going to see what's out here. I like this game, but it definitely falls victim to, I think, a lot of the problems with a lot of these, like, you know, tactics RPG games where you just kind of battle, 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 battle. Can I swim? No. I just get to a certain point and I can't go any further. And I don't feel a much immediate connection to the characters because I think they're all kind of procedurally generated. Uh, I think when I was a kid, I loved having procedurally generated characters that I grow attached to accordingly. Ooh, there's a big city over there. Uh, I got a blueberry for some reason. But at the same time, I think it's almost better to have named plot characters with named plot behind them, or specific plot behind them. 
Uh, just because, as it stands, like, we just were kind of introduced to a cloud of goblins and then told to fight for a bunch. And I like the idea of it, but it would almost be better if, uh, if they didn't have the random backup goblins and it was just this party of four. Uh, and they were more distinct as opposed to... I, I'm assuming the basic goblin class is kind of an all-rounder until you know what you want to do with them. I am not getting over to that weird castle, I guess. All right. Well, that's fine. Anyway, neat game. It is currently uh, still in development, will be in development for who knows how long. Uh, but if you want to play the demo yourself and kick more ass than I did, uh, you are welcome to, at least for the next couple of days. Uh, but for now, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.